And after I specifically told you not to tell them anything about it, I was only trying to do what you should have done long ago. Are you on the verge of breaking a tradition that goes back more than a thousand years? Your tradition, Mother, not mine. Marnie is my daughter, and if I decide not to train her like a witch, then it's none of your business. A witch's 13th Halloween is supposed to mark the completion of her training. Marnie's training doesn't at least begin tonight. Her power is be lost forever. Yes, and she'll finally be human. She'll finally be normal, like her brother, like her father, and like Sophie will be after her. Oh, wait, and a human father. Are you only lucky that you have two shoulders showing cowards at all? Do you really want to spend it all through life doing things the hard way? I mean, I mean, you can do it. 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 The clock is finally running. And you can just go home. Quinn, as much as I think you're making a terrible mistake with Barney, you're wrong about why I came here tonight. Fact is, I came to ask for your help. My help. With what? Well, something is wrong at home. Something's happening. Every day, I find another neighbor has changed, turned hateful, it's frightening. And soon after that, they disappear altogether. Oh, please, Mother, my neighbors disappear sometimes, too. It's called moving. Oh, I'm quite serious about this. It's as though something or someone is trying to return to the dark times. And I fear my powers alone may not be enough to stop it. I need another crown well, which I need you. Mother... There are plenty of other witches and warlocks in Halloween Town. Why don't you recruit one of them? Oh, I tried. You know how it is today. No one wants to get involved. Mother, I'm sure that you believe that there's some kind of problem. But I can't just leave my kids to go fight some nameless force in another world that I have nothing to do with. Nothing to do with? Well, fine. Bury your head in the sand of the precious mortal world of yours. Perhaps the Cromwell line will end with you. But let's just hope that Halloween Town doesn't come to an end along with it. Enjoy your leftovers, dear. <laughs> weird stuff that's happening in Halloween Town, like it's a real place. And then she turned our leftovers into a live chicken sitting right there in the bowl. And that's when I knew she is a witch, and so is Mom, and so am I, because they both said so. What do you think? I think it proves insanity is hereditary. I just hope boys are immune. Radio control models. She's leaving. She's going back to Halloween Town. I gotta go after her. Go after her? Are you crazy? I have to go. If she doesn't start training as a witch tonight, I can lose my powers forever. You don't really believe all this witch stuff is true, do you? Dylan, haven't you ever wondered about the stuff that goes on in our house? No. Like my mom will let us talk about what or read. Anything that has the word magic in it? No. I don't know if I want to talk about and Halloween doesn't exist, or why I had deja vu all the time, or why stuff seems to fall off the shelves whenever Sophie is a tantrum. No, well, I have. And now that I've found out the truth, I'm not going to stay here until a boring and human like you. What do you mean, boring like me? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
come from? I don't know. Can I put my shoe on now? Having a deja vu feeling again. You knew I was going to put on my shoe? No. This whole thing, the bus stop, Grandma. Wait. Maybe it's not deja vu at all. Maybe I'm seeing the future. Right. Now you can see the future. Tell me, what am I going to have for breakfast? Why are you such a downer? Why are you such a nutcase? Downer? Nutcase? Coming back from a costume party at the Moose Lodge. Oh, 